So, a question before I cue the intro. Who was the last Italian winner of the Italian Grand Prix? If you'd said Giuseppe Farina or Alberto Ascari, I would have not blamed you at all. But in fact, according to my research, it's a surprising candidate. Someone who won the Italian Grand Prix not in the 1950s, but in 1966. His name? Ludovico Scarfiotti. One question that's always puzzled me is why in Italy Italian fans seem, I do use the word advisedly, seem to cheer more for Ferrari than say an Italian driver. The 1990 San Marino Grand Prix is a case in point. That Grand Prix was won by Riccardo Patrese but for the reaction of the crowd, virtual silence, if what I've seen is correct, he may as well have not been there because with because he wasn't driving a Ferrari, as far as I could tell, that didn't matter. Because what the Tifosi wanted to, to see was at the time, either Alain Prost or Nigel Mansell winning because they were Ferrari's drivers at the time. Oh, that brings me on to something else. What do you think Tifosi is short for? Not for Italian speakers. Nope, you're wrong. It means, not the word on on the t-shirt, but it means this. That's it. Harping back to an earlier video, it's an, another example of how, from a non-Italian speaking perspective anyway, the Italian words for something that we say in English is much more impressive, from my perspective anyway, than the English equivalent. A sign of how influential Ferrari can be in terms of their impact anyway was the 1960 Italian Grand Prix let's just say it wasn't one of the races known for its I want to be careful with my wording here I wouldn't necessarily say everyone was on the same page let's put it no better or worse than that for context as to why I'm taking such uh, care with my words is because the 1960 Italian Grand Prix was well it goes down in history as the last victory for a front-engined Grand Prix car however it was far from the most glorious victory let's put it let's put it like that at least the context as to why it was so controversial you need to look at Enzo Ferrari's design philosophy vis-a-vis -vis his cars at the time. He believed that the horse, i.e. the engine, should pull the cart, like horse and cart. He derided teams like Cooper, who went on to win not only the previous year in 1959, but also went on to dominate that year 1960 as well in the world championship he Enzo Ferrari called them garagistas which is basically saying that he doesn't approve of them basically but he had to eat his own words as his beloved red cars were being absolutely demolished by rear engine cars or as he put it once the cart being pushed by the horse, not pulled. Anyway, long story short, by the time they got to Monza, the penultimate round of the championship in 1960, 
Ferrari had yet to get off the mark in a victory sense. But then the organisers decided to switch the layout that Monza was using. Rather than just using the road course, they would use the full circuit, including the banking. Yes, that banking. And even back then, before the safety measures that we that were started in that decade really came into prevalence. Even back then, uh, teams and drivers expressed concern of using the banking because of the strain it was putting on the tyres. And they, the majority of the teams refused point blank to race unless the organisers reverted to the road course, believing it was a blatant um, bout of Italian nationalism by using the one aspect of the Ferraris that year that they had strength in, their straight line speed. And so because of the banking and because of the very fast nature of Monza, Ferrari's handling deficiencies were masked by their straight line speed. And so when the negotiations weren't forthcoming, no concessions were made in other words, the field was reduced to just Ferraris. A footnote is that future, then future world champion Phil Hill got his first victory in that Grand Prix. Before, just the year before he won the world championship actually. And the only born and bred California, the only born and bred American to win the world championship. Mario Andretti was born in Italy, a part of Italy that's now Croatia. Just saying. That was July for Road to Monza. Amazingly, this is the penultimate one. The last one of all being August. Of course, just one month before I fly to Italy. And without question, I will use the camera that I'm filming with at the moment to record what will hopefully be an amazing experience being in the atmosphere that is being surrounded by devoted Italians and other nationalities as well, but predominantly Italian people dressed in red, unfurling the yellow emblem with the Italian tricolor and black prancing horse of Scuderia Ferrari. Anyway, until August guys, ciao.